Hi Year 5 and 6, welcome to Thursday's writing lesson. Hopefully by now you've written your own first verse to your poem about the wave. So today we're going to move on and we're going to try and do verse 2 and then you're going to go on and do verse 3 as well. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is exactly the same as yesterday. Look at the verse from the original poem, The Dreadful Menace, and work out the number of syllables. You'll see it's the same as verse one. And then also remember your rhyming words at the end of line two and four. So snow and below are rhyming words. OK, so verse two was I will summon armies of wind and rain and snow. I made the black clouds overhead, the ice like glass below. So we want to focus on that idea of what the wave's going to do, how it's controlling things and making it sound like it's really, really in charge of what's happening. OK, so that's what you're going to want to try and do about your wave in your poem today. I would say again, use the structure that's there to help you. So let's start with I will. So then you don't get stuck at home of how to start your next line. So I will summon. So if you summon someone, it means that you're sort of calling on them. So let's go for I will. I'm going to go for conjure, which means a similar thing, call together. So I will conjure soldiers. OK. I will conjure soldiers. Yep, follows the same pattern. And then we want the other words now to be linked to... Uh, the waves in the ocean. So I'm going to go for of rips and let's have rips and surf and tide. So, oh, sorry, all, all words to do with the ocean. And then I made the black clouds overhead. So we want something about what's happening at the top of those waves. So the top of the waves are called crests. OK, so I'm going to just put there. I made the crests above you because we want it to sound like the wave is talking to the person who's reading the poem. And now I've got to have something that rhymes with tide. I've got this idea that the wave's sort of trying to chase people down. So I'm going to put the rhyming word hide in there. So I made the crests above you. There is nowhere to hide. OK, and then like yesterday, read through, check that the syllables are right and that the main beats are in the right place as well. So I will summon armies. I will conjure soldiers. Yep. Of rips and surf and tide. I made the crests above you. There is nowhere to hide. So there's your second verse. Today, then, I want you to go on and do your second verse following my structure. And then I want you to have a go at doing your third verse as well. So our third verse was, not you nor any other can fathom. That was that question that I was asking you about on Monday. Fathom means to work out. So they can't work out what is nigh, what is about to happen. Not you nor any other can fathom what is nigh. I will tell you when to jump and I'll dictate. So I'll tell you how high. OK, so in your third verse, you want to make it really sound like it doesn't matter who the person is on the wave, that wave is in charge. You want to make it sound like that wave is going to control everything that's going to happen. OK, so by the end of today, you'll have verse one, two and three written. Keep emailing them in because we're really enjoying reading them. You're doing really, really well. Keep up the good work and then tune back in tomorrow when we can finish it for Friday's lesson. See you soon.